Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. And in this session, we will be learning how to calculate standard deviation using Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with how to calculate standard deviation in Excel. So first we will understand what exactly is standard deviation. So standard deviation is a calculated square of variance. Now what is variance? Okay, nothing to worry. Let us also understand what is variance. Now the next part, variance. So what is variance? Variance is a measure of variability. It is calculated by taking the average of squared deviations from the mean. Now what are deviations? So slowly you can understand that we are getting into the topic of statistics and graphs. So uh, before getting deep into it, let's understand what is deviation. So the deviation is a measure that is used to find the difference between the observed value and the expected value of a variable. In simple terms, deviation is the distance from the center point. So for example, when you are going through a graph, so you will be expecting some value, right? And if you get some difference that is above or below the expected point, that is called the deviation. What is the difference between the expected point and the obtained point? So that is the deviation. Now, next is the observed value. So the observed value is the value that you get in real time, unlike the predicted value. So now you might be thinking to calculate standard deviation, we might need a few more parameters and you're exactly right. So to calculate standard deviation in Excel, you need variance and then you need deviation and then you need mean, right? So all these parameters are supposed to be calculated first and then you will be having the final formula to calculate standard deviation. Now that we understood the theoretical and formula based explanation about standard deviation, it's time we calculate the standard deviation using one of the most popular business intelligence tool that is Microsoft Excel. So let's get back to the practical mode. So now we are on the practical mode and we have some sample data on my screen right now. Let me expand it a little bit. Yeah, there you go. So as discussed before to calculate standard deviation, we might require the mean, variance, deviation and deviation squared and then we can calculate the standard deviation. So let's go step by step. So the first one is calculating sum, right? So to calculate average, we might need a sum of all the scores. So we have the index values that is one to 10 and scores of each index value that is one to 10, right? Now let's calculate the sum of all values here. Press tab to select the function, select and drag these cells, press enter, and then you have the scores. Now you want number of indexes. So clearly you can see we have 10, but still let's count them. C O U N T tab space to select and select the number of cells, press enter and you have count. Now what's the mean? So mean is simply the average of all the numbers, right? So you can either divide the sum by count or you can simply use the average function. So let's try to use the average function so that we also have an idea of how the average function works. Press tab to select it and select all the cells press enter now you have the average or mean value now we have the mean value and now after finding the mean value we are supposed to find out the deviation so remember the deviation that is the difference between the obtained value and the predicted value right so the obtained value is this one which is here in c2 and the predicted value is this one that is 82.6 that's our mean right according to formula we are supposed to eliminate the value of obtained minus the mean, right? So select uh, the cell equals to C2 minus the obtained value that is mean. Now press F4 to freeze the value and now press enter so that you can freeze the value and drag the formula across all the cells. Now you have the deviation, right? Now the next step is to find the sum of all the deviation numbers. 
So either you can apply the sum formula to all these numbers or you can just drag the cell over here and the formula will be automatically copied. Now similarly the count function to count all the values that is drag it and you will have it over here. Right. Now the next step is to find out the square deviations or the square of the deviations which is really simple. All you have to do is equals to select the cell and uh, see that small hat kind of logo on the number 6. Use that. Now into 2. Press enter. We have the square. Similarly, drag the same formula across all the cells and you will have your square numbers. Similarly, drag this summation function over here. So you will have the sum of this and the count number as well. Now comes the final formula. Now we have the mean value that is over here. Let's color it. And we have the variation square. Now that is which is this one. Let's color it in a different shape. And we have deviation as well. Let's color it in a different shape. Now we need to find the variance. And after we find the variance, the last step is to count the standard deviation or calculate the standard deviation so what is the formula to calculate the variance so for variance you need the sum of deviation square divided by total number of values minus one press enter and that's your variance now the standard deviation so the standard deviation is really simple you need to calculate the variance to the power of 0.5 and that's your standard deviation so that's how you calculate standard deviation in excel i hope all the formulas and the explanation was clear if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in the session or the formulas used in the session or you require the data set that we used during this session, then please do let us know in the comment section below. And our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.